The construction sector is the largest emitter of greenhouse gases, contributing 30% of global emissions. The dominant materials, cement, steel and aluminium, have a significant carbon footprint, raising urgent sustainability questions. In this context, the case for building with engineered timber becomes clear. However, the path to sustainable design faces challenges primarily due to a lack of knowledge and training, leaving many architects unprepared for modern timber design. Recognizing this critical need, Raw Modular, in collaboration with York Timbers, the University of Pretoria and Rubio Monocote, set out to make a difference. We invited students from four different universities across South Africa to step outside their comfort zones and join us on a serene grassland hilltop for two unique design and construction camps. This was no ordinary camp. It offered an immersive experience where interdisciplinary groups of architecture, engineering and industrial design students were encouraged to experiment, make mistakes and ask questions. The goal was to create a learning environment that fostered the integration of various design philosophies through systems and modular design thinking. Our hands-on learning approach emphasizes experimentation, collaboration and calculated risks. Students focused on three core principles, functionality, flexibility and efficiency, creating modular solutions that addressed multiple challenges while doing as little harm to the planet as possible. The advice I would give to people coming to this camp is just come. <laughs> I think uh, that's the best decision you can make for yourself. Whether you are from architecture, interior design or industrial design, people come here and really experience the innovation, you know, the creativity that you can form with just timber, but also the ability to design with other, you know, um, industry friends that you know we've gained connections here and it's really inspirational to work with other people outside of your own space. The first two days of the camp were dedicated to exploring timber design and construction theory and digital fabrication exercises, culminating in a project-based design brief. In the first week, students were challenged to design an entrance gate for the Innovation Africa campus at the University of Pretoria. The gate was envisioned as a welcoming face of the campus, a showpiece demonstrating the potential of engineered mass timber in real-world applications. Students were encouraged to think big and embrace bold ideas. I think coming here, my perception of working with wood has changed in that I feel like I hadn't explored timber at all. It's not something that's talked about or, or even explored. It's sort of pushed to the side, but Highlighting the timber in this experience has shown me how much more I can do, how much more timber can do, how, how much more beneficial it is and, and just amazing, how, what an amazing material it is to use. Incorporating timber um, from now on into my way of designing, it would have to be the natural way of representing buildings. Um, I'm interested in, archi in African architecture, so I think I'm going to be doing a lot of timber designs. Yeah. In the second week, the focus shifted indoors to tackle the complexities of a multi-use hybrid workspace where students utilized a variety of engineered timber products working within an efficient modular framework. The challenges were significant, but the students rose to the occasion, applying their skills and newfound knowledge to create innovative solutions. The raw experience also addressed mental health through wellness talks, team building activities and self-expression workshops, nurturing each student's holistic growth. The impact of the program was evident, as demonstrated by the ever-increasing number of applicants eager to participate in this transformative experience. York Timbers chose RAW as a training partner due to our commitment to teaching modular design through hands-on, experiential learning for over a decade. What I enjoyed most about the week was probably getting to know people, getting to be in a different setting, but still being able to learn about architecture in a different way. I actually enjoyed also getting to work with different experts uh, from different um, walks of life, um, like interior design, architecture, and industrial design. Yet, while the facilitators provided guidance, the true heroes of the story were, of course, 
the students themselves. As the final presentations approached, excitement filled the air. Each group showcased their project to the actual clients and users, revealing not just viable designs, but also their visions for a sustainable future. The entrance gates stood proudly as a testament to their creativity, while the hybrid workspace design echoed collaboration and innovation. In those final moments of the camp, we believe the students realized they were part of a larger movement towards sustainability. They left the camp not only with skills, but with the belief that they could be catalysts for change, carrying the hope of a more sustainable future built on knowledge, collaboration and the transformative power of timber.